morning, Janine. Awesome. Welcome everyone to our October mega class. Um, for those who have never met before, I am Teresa Fuel, and I am so excited to share with you some awesome consultants uh, tonight that are going to share some amazing recipes with you that are going to help kick off the fall. Here where I am in Washington, it's the sun is shining and it's like 80 degrees, so it doesn't really feel like fall today, but we're in a fall moon, fall baking. So you're in for a treat tonight. So normally each of us consultants are in uh, different states um, attending virtually. But tonight happens to be our team meeting here in Washington. So anybody that's close enough to drive to my house is gonna present from here with me. So that's always kind of fun. And then uh, we have one presenter that is still remote off in uh, Texas. So we're excited uh, to share some great recipes with you and get started. So just a couple of housekeeping things for your, if you are attending a mega class for the first time, or you're watching the recording, you want to join us live next time because we do some awesome raffle prizes at the end and you must be present to win. We need to know that you're out there. So if you are a guest tonight, not a consultant, if you are a guest, please put in the chat box of the Zoom, put in that what your name is and please say first and last because we have often more than one Julie's and Jennifer's and Yes, Teresa, two Teresa's on here. So, um, so you should say your first and last name and then the name of the consultant that invited you. Um, so we know how to track you down and get your address to mail you your friend. So I am gonna start with, we've got a bonus four recipes. Normally we do three, but we decided to do four recipes because of these awesome October specials we have. So I am going to share with you tonight a really fun recipe that's called healthier pumpkin donuts. And so uh, this is actually a pumpkin muffin recipe that I turned into a donut last year. Um, and it was a huge hit, everyone loved it. And so I'm gonna show you how to make that tonight. So um, first things first is uh, Eco Chop. You're gonna see my friends uh, chopping some vegetables in this Eco Chop later, which is great. You guys see us do that a lot. But tonight we're gonna chop some oats. We're gonna turn some oats into an oat flour type thing for the dry part of our recipe. So I'm gonna get the noisy part out of the way first. So you do wanna pull long strokes and facts to get this ground back. Sorry for the noise. It'll be short-lived. And how much you chop it up is totally dependent on you. I don't mind the big chunks, but Roman likes it if I hide them. So you can see we've got that ready to go for our dry ingredients. So I'm just gonna throw this recipe together real quick for you guys. And I'll tell you what we're doing. Now, if you don't have the recipes yet, the consultant that invited you has them and we'll get them to you. I haven't even gotten them to my guests yet. So don't worry, they're coming. So, so first up is one third of a cup avocado oil. I love to bake with avocado oil. If you've not done that before, it's really a great way. I like to sneak in some of those healthy fats for my kids. And then this recipe calls for maple syrup. And so it's not sweetened with sugar, it's sweetened with maple syrup. So this is half a cup of maple syrup, okay? And then we've got two, I'm gonna whisk that up first. And then I'm gonna add two eggs at room temperature, which I already cracked for you. I love our nesting bowl, you guys. It's so lightweight and this handle make it really easy to tip the bowl when you wanna whisk by hand. Oh, it looks so yummy. Then I'm gonna add the two eggs, room temperature is always what you should have when you're baking. And I love this recipe because it's so easy to whisk up by hand. Um, you can use this, um, you don't need a lot of hand mixer or your fan mixer. You can do it quick and easy by hand, which I love. Then I'm going to add one cup of pure pumpkin puree. I know most people know this and it goes without saying for you bakers out there, but if you're not a baker, really important to remember to buy the pure pumpkin, not the pumpkin pie mix. Um, the pumpkin pie mix already has bunch of sweeteners and stuff in it. So you want just the pumpkin. And yes, you can do fresh pumpkin too. Um, and then we're gonna do a fourth of a cup of milk. Okay. And one teaspoon vanilla. Then I'm gonna mess that all up. And then I'm gonna add my dry. Now for the dry, you can use, you can buy at the store something called whole wheat pastry flour. If you've never baked with that, it's really good. Um, but if you don't have whole wheat pastry flour, I would do a blend a whole wheat flour and all purpose flour. Um, it just, the, it's kind of a lighter um, mess if you do the pastry flour. Otherwise it gets a little bit dense with the whole wheat. So this is whole wheat, three fourths of a cup whole wheat flour. 
and one cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon baking soda, two teaspoons pumpkin pie spice blend, which I love, such a great blend. And then you're gonna do about half a teaspoon salt. So I just grind this in. The celery grinder, if you own it, you know, you can kind of shake it, it's a little bit sticky naturally, just a more wet salt. So it seems like I'm putting a lot of salt in there and I'm really not a promise. So, so then I'm going to whisk this up and then I almost forgot my oats. Look at that, I was all prepared and did ahead of time. So this is my ground up oats. So then I'm just gonna mix all that up. And then we're gonna put our donut tray. And we're using the donut tray tonight because we have this awesome donut tray that's on sale in the month of October. So this donut tray, normally $66 on sale this month for 55. And always check on our customer specials, you guys, because we have been known to regularly add a discounted perforated baking sheet. So you definitely want to watch for that and don't miss out on that for sure. Okay, so then um, this is a little bit lumpy, but it's just the oats. I'm going to show it to you in just a second. It's the oats that didn't get ground up well enough. You can see it's a pretty thick batter. Um, so now what I'm going to do with that is I am going to go ahead and put it in my pastry bag so that I'm going to pass that to you guys. So I guess we don't have to pin it because a horn's next. Sorry, but I'm trying to be ahead, I'm trying to be efficient here with everybody else in my kitchen. So pastry bag stand. I love it because you can use two hands. I've got my pastry bag on here already, but I want to show you I've got my large round tip is what I've got to fill my donut tray. So you put the bag on the stand, you move it like that. And then I'm going to fill my pastry bag with two hands. I just love our pastry bag stand for this. Before the pastry bag stand came out, we would do this with like a large cup, but then you had to hope it didn't tip over. And yes, I'm filling this very full because I want to be able to show you guys this in one fell swoop. So then I've got my donut tray here, always on the perforated baking sheet. And then I'm going to fill this. You're gonna see how easy it is to fill this. It's gonna drip in a little bit um, with the pastry bag. So this is the way to do it. So I'm just gonna put that in there, kind of tip it, drop it off. And then I'm gonna show you, once I get this full, I'm gonna tap the baking sheet to level it all out and then see if I'm missing anything. Now I made some earlier, so by the magic of television, I can show you the finished product, which is great. And then, well, I'll tell you what this recipe makes. It makes eight donuts plus a little bit more. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you, I put a little bit more in my mini round mold. I love, love, love. So I've got a little bit left in the bowl that I'm gonna fill in my mini round mold. I'll show you that. So look, I just tap like this, close it out and put it in the oven. The oven is preheated uh, for 435 degrees and by the magic of television. Here we go, I'm gonna pop out these gorgeous pumpkin donuts. Are those so awesome? So delicious, delicious. So now we're going to, oh, I'm gonna show you, we'll do the rest of it in the mini round mold. Pops right out, isn't that amazing? We're gonna taste this once we blast camera. So I'm gonna pass it off to my friend, Lauren, who's gonna share the next recipe with you. So. Go ahead, Lauren, I'm gonna get you started. Oh, hi guys, can you hear me okay? Hello. <laughs> Greetings from Texas. I'm the lone person out here in Texas. It's finally starting to feel like fall. Um, so I'm really excited to be here. And I just have to say that um, it's a wonderful feeling to be a part of this team and to be a part of the Rockstar team. Um, you're gonna hear later on about potentially being with the college seasonal seller. And I just wanted to get this in. I don't think Teresa, you even knew I was gonna say this, but. I joined this team seven months ago because I wanted to have fun. I wanted to bring some joy into my life. I enjoy cooking and baking. And I thought, you know what, let me just have some fun and let me try to get some of the stuff that I've fallen in love with at a discount. <laughs> so um, I had no idea that, you know, this would turn into something like this where I get to be part of this amazing team. Uh, and um, I feel very, very blessed. So when you hear about things later on about being a seasonal seller, I mean, give it a chance, give it a try. You just never know where this will take you. So I am going to tell you about roasted butternut squash salad. Um, so this calls for um, a pound and a half of butternut squash peeled and cut into three quarters to an inch cubes. So last night I ran out and got a beautiful butternut 
squash. And I use our gorgeous Santoku knife, which I mentioned at the last video class, my husband's favorite thing. In fact, he gets this for his friends as holiday gifts. And I'm just gonna cut a few pieces here. I actually made this, um, I'll finish to show you, but I just wanna make sure I'm clear about when you are cutting your um, vegetables or fruits or anything that you're going to cook, you wanna make sure you don't have one this size and you don't have one this size because they're never gonna cook evenly and this is never gonna um, taste delicious and be ready to eat at the same time. So just make sure that everything has the same size. And truth be told, if you don't have the time to do this or you go to the supermarket and you happen to see that they've got a nice pound and a half cup of, uh, of cut butternut squash already there for you, go for it. I think you just make your life easier, okay? So what I went ahead and did is I cooked this already for you. This is in our Flexi Flat. You're gonna hear about this later on as well. This was the first purchase I made from Dana Azimi. It's the medium perforated baking sheet and the Flexi Flat. So it's about 13 by nine by about, you know, an inch or so. I use this to roast vegetables. I use this when I um, make salmon or if I make like stuffed eggplants, I kind of think of it like a bond map, but with sides. Um, and so again, you can make lots of different things in here and you'll hear about that later on, but I made the roasted butternut squash. And in here, I added two tablespoons of oil from our French pantry line, um, a tablespoon of pure maple syrup, and some salt and some pepper. And I roast it at 400 degrees for about 17 minutes or so. And then around that time, I took it out and zhuzhed it with my little heat resistant spatula because you don't want a regular old spatula which is gonna melt when it hits something this hot. And I added some craisins just for a pop of color and some extra sweetness, put it in the oven for another, I don't know, four minutes, five minutes. And this is the gorgeous finished product. I, I honestly could eat it just like this, but we're making a salad tonight. So while that was going in a saute pan, I um, added some of our um, French pantry balsamic vinegar. And if you know, again, from last time, this is my favorite. It is the citrus spice. I use this on everything. And then I, um, minced some shallots in our handy mini chopper, which I won't demo because I know the next gal is going to show you, but this thing is awesome, especially if you're like me when you cut, when you start to cut onions and uh, shallots, you look like you've been watching like the status Hallmark movie out there. So I love that because it keeps me from like crying a lot. And then in here was um, three quarters cup of apple juice. You could also use apple cider. And so I just brought it to a boil for about seven, eight, nine minutes until it reduced to about quarter cup. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, put this in another bowl. You can also, um, you know, whisk it in here, but I don't want to ruin the finish on my saute pan. So I'm going to use another one of our spatulas. This is another heat resistant spatula. And I'm going to make a beautiful dressing using two more of my favorite things. I know I say that a lot, but I have definite favorites and this is one of them. So this is the um, Herbe de Provence oil. Now the recipe calls for an olive oil, but um, since we're using Herbe de Provence mustard, I like to complement when I use the oils and the mustard. So I'm using the Herbe de Provence oil. We have so many different types of oils you can choose from. This one happens to have the Provence, which is like um, rosemary, basil, thyme, marjoram, a little bit of lavender. So it calls for, I believe I'm looking here, um, for a half a cup of the oil. So I'm just gonna add that here into my bowl. It calls for two teaspoons of this delicious Herbe de Provence mustard. My husband, he just loves the mustards now. Again, all of his friends are getting a Santoku knife and a bunch of mustards because um, he is that much of a fan. So if you can get your husband to love mustard, this is the way to go. And then I'm going to just add a little bit of our salt. So I'm using our lavender salt, which has become my favorite. You can see how empty this is. Um, I think it pairs really nicely with the Herbe de Provence because it has those same similar type of flavors. And then I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. I think someone else will talk to you about this pep rally pepper mill, which is amazing but I'm going to use the Timmet, which believe it or not, they all have a different taste. They all have a different fragrance. 
And I'm using the Timmet, which has um, the smell and like the taste of, of grapefruit. I kid you not, like it truly does smell like grapefruit. So I'm going to put a little bit in here and you can adjust the grind if you want it coarse or if you want it fine. I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this up with our handy um, mini whisk. I know sometimes you think like, eh, just a mini whisk, but let me tell you, <laughs> it really makes life a lot more fun in the kitchen when you're using things that um, are meant to be used in a certain way. My other whisk is like that big, just, it's not gonna work. So this is wonderful. And all I'm gonna do now is dress my salad. So I have here a bowl of arugula, which is nice and bitter and it can um, stand up nicely to the taste of the butternut squash. I'm going to go ahead and add the butternut squash to it. Again, on my flexi flat. I'm just gonna put it right here in the middle. I'll add one more scoop. And of course, if you want to make this a bigger meal, you can always add some roasted chicken. And you could, this is great for sheet pan meals. So if you want to do like a chicken and the vegetable and it's all in one tray, that's another great use of our flexi flat. But I'm going to just put a little bit of the dressing here. I watch a lot of um, Jamie Oliver. I'm just going to kiss the salad. Just kiss the salad. Don't really overdress it. Just add a little bit on here. Bobby Flay says you're supposed to go to the outside and then bring it into the middle. So I listen to all of them. I love them all. So I'm going to go ahead and just give it a little toss. I don't want to make my salad too overdressed. There is nothing worse to me than an overdressed salad. Cannot stand that. And um, the recipe also calls for some toasted walnuts, which I happen to love. So I did toast them. But my husband is not a fan of the toasted walnuts. So I'll probably leave it off and then when I plate mine, I'll go ahead and put these on. But I have, I've toasted them in the oven at 400 for about a minute and a half on our small perforated baking sheet and our small bond mat. And I'll just put this on top of my salad when I'm ready to eat it. Probably give it a little bit more salt and pepper. And there you go, a beautiful and healthy fall salad. Perfect for your dinner. Enjoy. Sorry, everybody, the camera here was muted. There we go. And so now somehow this got. There it is. There. All right. Hi, you got me everybody. You got me? <laughs> Hi, everybody. I they can hear me, right? Okay, everybody. All right. I'm Tina Foster, and I'm here at Teresa's. We're having so much fun having a joint mega class together with. And Lauren, you did a fantastic job. That salad looks so good. Mm -hmm. I wish you were closer. Yeah, yeah that looks delicious. I love arugula. I love butternut squash. Everything yes. about that. All right. So. My recipe is healthy. You notice we have a whole healthy thing going on here. Mine is healthy turkey pumpkin chili. Yes, we're putting pumpkin in our chili. It's adding vegetables and it tastes absolutely amazing. So it's so much fun. And the recipe that we will send you says you can do it in the oven, but I'm gonna show you, I can do it even faster, all in the microwave, believe it or not. So we have our fantastic large round mold here. And I've already chopped up a half of a sweet onion in here with our amazing Eco Chop. And I'm gonna show you that in a minute here. And we've added some of our roasted garlic oil. It gives all of our infused oils, gives so much delicious flavor to our food. And so then in here, I have some red and yellow pepper. You can, any kind of peppers you like. I don't think the green peppers add the, quite the right flavor, but any of the orange, red, yellow peppers are perfect. All right, sounds like our donuts are yeah, getting yeah. Yeah. over there. Ooh. All right, so anyway, I'm going to chop these peppers. Again, sorry for the noise for a minute. And we want, oh, that's just beautiful. One more call. You see how easy that is? And look at that. Is that just amazing? So we're going to add those in with our onions. Let's see. I've got spatula here and this is part of our set of two mini spatulas that 
I use every single time I cook. I love those spatulas for scraping things out. They're just the perfect size. So we're adding our peppers in. And then I would put a little bit of salt and pepper in here, season as we go. So um, Teresa talked about our uh, sea, uh, green. This is from uh, actually from a sea in France. So all the way from the shores of France. And like she said, it doesn't come out real fast. So it always looks like we're adding a lot more than we are. All right, and then the pepper, uh, Lauren used the pep rally and this is our amazing pep rally that we have so much fun with because it's got five peppers international all over the world. A couple of them are from India and I'm gonna use the Tella cherry, which is from India. I'm just gonna put a little pepper in here and it comes with the pepper mill and then the all, all five different peppers. And what is fun about this is it's a great gift and it's getting to that time when we're almost thinking about holiday gifts. And I had one customer last year bought six of these to give away for gifts. It's such a great little item. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the sweat these vegetables in the microwave. I'm going to put my octagonal bond mat over the top. And then we're going to put this in the microwave for two minutes and just sweat those out. So I have some already done here. And I have put in one pound of extra lean ground turkey. You can use any ground turkey you want, or you can even use beef or ground chicken. I mean, whatever you like, but we like to make it very, very healthy and very lean. So this is the extra lean. And so it's got our onions, our peppers, and our, we put the turkey in and we cook that for another three minutes. And so that turkey's all done now. And so now I'm gonna add all of the rest of the amazing ingredients. So we have beans. I have pinto, one can of pinto and one can of black beans. And we've rinsed, we drained those and rinsed those, get all of that kind of not so great liquid that's in those cans. We have one can of diced tomatoes. And I actually like the uh, petite dice for this. So that's what we use. All right, and we're gonna put a bunch of delicious herbs in here. So, we, and spices. So we have uh, two tablespoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of cumin, which I just love the flavor of cumin, so warm and delicious. We have one teaspoon of um, smoked paprika. So that gives it another great flavor profile. And then uh, we have a teaspoon of our amazing roasted garlic and chive herb blend. And the thing about our herb blends that we love is that they are whole herbs. There's not the dust that you buy at the grocery store. But you look at that, you can see the whole chunks of roasted garlic in there. And it just adds so much flavor to everything. All right, so we've got all that. And then we're gonna add one half, I'm actually make, gonna make two recipes tonight. You saw me start another one over there, a half of this can. So it'd be one 15 ounce can, and this is a, like 29 and a half ounces or something. So it's approximately two cans. So we're gonna add about half of this pumpkin puree. And again, like Teresa said, you want the pumpkin, not the pumpkin pie filling, because that would not be good no, in chili at all. Unless not you like a all. sweet chili, right? Yeah. Oh, and I forgot our garlic. Oops. All right, so I'm using the mini chopper and Lauren used it too. And so what we love about this is we started out with whole garlic in here and you can do it two ways. You can either turn it like this, which is shorter stroke, or you can roll it across your counter like this for long stroke and it's gonna just chop it so fast and easily. And I don't know about you, but I always used to uh, absolutely hate uh, mincing garlic. Now I love it because I've got this awesome mini chopper. So anyway, I've got to put this garlic in there. Add more and more and more. So you can tell there is just so much flavor in this chili. It is amazing. All right, get our garlic scraped out here. And that's three cloves of garlic that we have going in. Yum, yum. Okay. Pretty good. All right, so we've got that. And then I personally love, and by the way, we have this on a microwave safe plate. So that's how it goes in the oven with that octagonal mat over it. 
So we're just going to stir this all up. And then I like a little bit of heat, but this one is a sweeter, the Chipotle Tabasco. It's not as hot. It's the smoked Chipotle peppers. And so I like personally like a lot, but I'm just going to add a little because I have friends here that are going to eat it with me. I don't know how much they like. Yeah. And then you know what I do because I love spicy. I just add a little more in my bowl. And then I could make it as spicy, whoops, oh, spicy as I want. Whoops, I'm flipping the things <laughs> onto the counter. And by the way, it smells amazing in here. I know, I was going to say that. It I'm like, it's so, so good. good in here. All right, so uh, in the interest of time, we are going to move on. But you see the idea. I'm going to mix this all up. And then this is literally going to go in the microwave for about seven minutes. And it'll be like you cooked it in the stove in the oven for 30 minutes. And it's going to just meld those flavors together and be absolutely fantastic. And now I'm going to turn it over to my friend Dana, who's here in person too. Yay! So we're trying to clean everything out of Dana's way here. I love right. it. But All teamwork right. makes the dream work. Yes, so we are going to do it. Luckily, Dana's going to be doing these pumpkin pie right. tartlets. And she uses a roll pot, so I'm just making sure that it's dry. And now she's got a clean server. So take it away, Dana. Hey, everyone. I'm usually joining you from either Southern Oregon or Colorado, but I happen to be in town, so I couldn't resist joining the girls here at Teresa's house in Camas, Washington, to do the mega class in person. And it's just like, I don't have to just do the air hugs. They're the real hugs, and it's so awesome. So <laughs> we're um, so happy. Yeah. yeah. Love, love, love it. So I'm so excited to be doing tartlets with you guys because number one, it's on one of our customer specials, which Teresa will share with you later. And the awesome thing about the special is you've got three choices um, when it comes to tartlets. So, and I love doing tartlets because they can be sweet. They can be savory. I always like to do a signature one. One of my favorite signature tartlets is a little bacon, a little brie, a little rosemary, a little honey. So good. But today we're going to be doing some pumpkin pie tartlets. So perfect for Thanksgiving or really any time of the year. I love, it used to be that you couldn't find pumpkin all year round, but now you can find pumpkin all year round. So we are gonna be using, like I said, you have three choices on the special. I'm gonna be using the mini tartlet. So it has 30 shapes. Um, it's, you know, a little bit smaller. It's like a one bite. And so what you're gonna do is the special also, also comes with our fluted round cutters. And so for the mini, you're going to use the fifth from the inside. So it looks like this. And the way to tell when you're using your tartlet tray, you want the cutter to show the entire well and then a little extra because when you push the dough down with your shaper, you want it to come up to the full side of that well. So the fifth from the smallest and you can always contact the consultant that invited you or that you purchase your kit from if you need help with that. And I am going to be honest, I am using Pillsbury Doughboy's help today, and I'm using the already made pie crusts. But Teresa, earlier today, and some that we'll show you later, she did a homemade dough. So, no judgment. If you want Pillsbury Doughboy's help, we will not judge you. But if you want to do your grandma's pie dough, go for it. But I'm just going to, this is okay. I have to show you this. I just glossed over. So, this is our new roll pat. And it has the beautiful circles. So when you're making your pies, I mean, not making tartlets, you'll be able to measure, but I love it. It has um, measurements on the sides. Um, I used it last mega class for cutting dough into perfect little squares. Love, love, love this roll pack. But when you're using it for dough, what you want to do is I'm going to unroll this. I let this thaw for about 15 minutes on the counter, just so you can get it to unroll beautifully. See how beautifully that works. And then I'm going to use my beechwood rolling pin. Now, this is a French rolling pin. It doesn't have the handles like your grandma's rolling pin. You have a lot more control with the French rolling pin. You're going to use more of the heel of your hand. And you're just looking for the thickness to be when you can start seeing the lines and the words and the lettering through. That's when you can stop. You really don't need much. You just kind of want to, you know, roll it out, roll out any seams. And once you start seeing those lines through there, you're good to go. And the beautiful thing about using the Pillsbury Doughboy is that one roll usually fills one tray. So that's awesome. So you can start to see those lines through there. I'll lift this up so you can see. You can start seeing those lines through there. Okay, then what I'm going to do is you always want to try and get as many cuts, shapes as you can on your first pass. 
because even if you treat your dough very gently and don't overwork it to re-roll it, that first roll is always better than the second. And I'm just gonna go around the circle, snuggling them up as closely as I can, like so. And you can imagine, just do your concentric circle. Then I love to use my cake server knife. And if you didn't see, it comes in black now, which is super cool. But the neat thing about the roll, the roll pat is you can just peel that dough away. Check that out. Isn't that awesome? It just peels away, peels away, peels away. Okay, then I use my little cake server knife to just lift it gently. I'm gonna put them just right here. I'll hold this up for you. Of course, I have the finished product all ready to go. You're gonna bake these at 350 for about 30 minutes. If you're doing a tartlet that you wanna blind bake the dough where you bake the dough ahead of time, you're gonna to wanna to prick it and then you can do those at 400 for about 10 minutes if you're just doing the shells. But we're gonna bake the pie, you know, filling right in the shell. And what I've done already, because I wasn't sure, I was number four, and we usually do three. I already have my pie mix ready to go in my stainless mixing bowl. It's just pretty much your traditional pumpkin pie filling, but we will be sure if, you, if your consultant has not gotten you the recipes yet, you'll get those recipes next. I'm gonna use my little shaper, love it. Um, this side is for round, our round um, tartlet trays, and then this is for our boat tartlet tray. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm just gonna use my shaper and with the mini, you know, it doesn't have that far down to go. When you get with the bigger tartlets, you know, you need a little more, but this just is kind of just like that. Voila, perfect, perfect. Then I'm just gonna use my little half a tablespoon and I'm going to fill these just like so. Takes about a half a tablespoon, there you go. How easy is that? You don't need to prick the bottom because you're just absolutely baking them right in the shell, like so, voila, how easy was that? Into the oven, 350, they look gorgeous. And then as if by magic, I have the two other tray options. So this is, now that the mini is made out of PlexiCam. PlexiCam is that woven glass core, that's what conducts the heat, cooks your food, then dipped in food grade silicone, make it an all non-stick. The medium tartlet tray is also the same. So you can tell, let me bring these back over. I consider the mini like a one bite. This is like a two bite. And look at how easily they just pop right up. I'm gonna put them in a little tray, like so. So these are the medium tartlet, also made out of the FlexiCam material. And then your third choice on the special is our Silkhorn large tartlet tray. Now this has 20 wells, the mini has 30, and this has 12. So these are like several bites. And you can use these, like I said, sweet, savory, everything in between. You can make little pot pies, you could make, oh my gosh, sky's the limit with tartlets. Okay, then let's see how clean, that's your quote unquote dirty pan, right? It's just so clean. And then, your third choice, like I said, this is the large silk form. So the silk form is our bread line. It is a fine mesh material. You wouldn't want to put like um, a brownie mix in here. With those other ones, you could do like little brownie bites or cake bites. But if you're using your silk form, you want to stick to like pie dough or puff pastry. You can't even use like a, a croissant, you know, dough, too buttery, it'll flow right through. But look at how beautiful. I love to compare how they look. And I'm gonna come up to the camera so you can see it. When you use the silkworm, a little flakier, a little crispier. I'm gonna see if I can show you this. So this is made, ooh, where's the camera? <laughs> oh my goodness. I came right up to the camera and I wasn't there. You are, side. it's right there. Okay, cool. I went to the wrong side, sorry, I'm old. So this is, you can tell, see how crispy and flaky that is? That's made out of the silkworm. This is made out of your traditional uh, flexi pan. So you have more flexibility with the flexi pan to use like, you know, a, a cake batter, egg bites, whatnot, but you couldn't do that here. So let's do some of these and I am going to zhuzh them up with some freshly whipped cream. And you guys, I like to um, cheat when it comes to the pie dough, but I make my own freshly whipped cream because it is so easy and it's such a huge difference. So just real quick, we did a cup of 
heavy whipping cream and I use a tablespoon of powdered sugar and just let it go till you get soft peaks. I'm also using the pastry bag tips and stand like Teresa did. I did it ahead of time and I just let it sit here. I did it probably about an hour ago and it's beautiful. So you just, when you pipe, you're just gonna go right around. How beautiful are those? And I love, like if I have guests over, especially if you have kids, I love to let people pipe their own. It's so much fun. And let's do some big ones. Love, love, love doing, doing things like that. So there you go. Beautiful. Look at how beautiful those are. I would love to invite you to join our team because we have so much fun when we're together. We eat such amazing food and we're such great supports of one another. So um, consider joining us. Um, with that, I'm going to toss it back to our MC of the evening, Miss Teresa. Okay, you're going to stay right there because oh, you're going to help right Julia with raffle prizes. Oh, yes. okay, and I am going to be sharing some specials. So while I am getting okay. that screen up, so we're gonna um, we're gonna stay tuned for the raffles. We're not gonna do them right away, but what okay. we're gonna do, we're gonna do them after I share the specials. But what I want to say to you guys is, if you have not yet put your name in the box as a guest of somebody, make sure that you do that because you do not want to miss. So you need to say who you are, first and last name, and who you are a guest of. That would be fabulous. So I'm going to share with you some customer specials, some flash sales, and of course, some business um, kit specials for October. So I'm hoping everybody can see my screen all right. Um, so first of all, as you guys know, I always say there are three ways to be part of our bond community. And my favorite is to do what we do. And you can tell we are having fun tonight because we are together. We are so happy to be together in person. And we love all of our um, consultants that are joining us virtually as well. So we love that we can do this mega class. And don't worry, guys, we'll continue doing this mega class because it is awesome. So we invite each and every one of you to consider joining our team. And if you don't know, we are the number one team in the company, which is not said to brag. It's said to let you know that we are here to support you and we know how to support you. So um, we have this $99 business kit, which is pretty amazing when you're familiar with our products and all the great things that you can um, get started in this business for only $99. This is amazing. But I have a surprise for you. I'm going to wait to share with you at the end. We do have a coupon for you guys to get this business kit for even less expensive. But I want to say about this business kit is it's not the business kit that is the true gift. It is joining the business and what you're gonna get out of that and what you're gonna be able to give even more importantly. And so we are looking for seasonal sellers this time of year. And a lot of you might wonder what that means to be a seasonal seller. Well, as we know, or if you don't know, I'm gonna let you know tonight that we do the majority, uh, the biggest um, impact in our business is made in the fourth quarter of the year, which is October, November, and December. Why is that? That is because everyone is in the kitchen cooking and baking more, and they're also um, entertaining more, and they're buying gifts for people. So we definitely want to make sure that we are, sorry, background noise is throwing my brain off here a little bit. So I'm not used to having so many people around me when I'm presenting, and so I get distracted easily. So um, what I want to say about the seasonal sellers is that you, uh, we want you, we need you to help share this amazing product, these amazing people, um, and what the uh, differences can make in your kitchen. And so a seasonal seller is somebody who just wants to join casually. You wanna share it with your family and friends over the holidays. You wanna buy the discount. You wanna get everybody these amazing holiday gifts uh, for uh, with Bon Cook, and you wanna be able to get them at a discount and share at the same time. So no pressure, if you're interested, reach out to your consultant. They'll give you more information about being a seasonal seller. And we've got, like I said, a coupon to share with you at the end of this, so stay tuned. So if the business is not for you, I highly recommend that you consider hosting your own cooking class. So when you host your own cooking class, um, not only are you going to get to share with your friends and family these amazing products, but you're gonna share with them some great recipes just like we shared with you tonight. And then the added bonus is you get free products when you host the class. So that's really exciting as well. So these are our October Bond Rewards and I'm so excited. If you fell in love with Donut Tray tonight, look what you get, an October exclusive free donut tray with a class over $700. Really easy to do guys. Our average class of Bond Cook is over $700 for the average class. 
And many of us are doing classes well over the Bon Elite level of 1200. So pretty easy. You get a lot of great stuff for free. And I'm so excited, Margaret Toasting. And I get to go to Georgia and do a party with Margaret. I'm so excited. Yeah. So um, if you are interested, reach out to your consultant, book that class. I'm going to tell you guys all of our can- calendars fill up quickly in October. So definitely reach out and get that scheduled soon. And I'm going to tell you, your friends that you're going to invite, they're going to be willing to spend money on themselves and on the gifts they're buying in October. Once you hit November, people start to spend money on gifts only less and less on themselves. So just saying, October is a great month to book a class. Okay. Next up, all of you customers out there, we love our customers and we've got some great specials for you. So you saw us using many of these items tonight. You can see this roll into fall. We did, we chose not to do a pumpkin roll for you guys tonight because that is a great um, option to do at a class. And so if you're interested in learning how to make this pumpkin roll, I'm gonna tell you guys, book a class with your consultant so that he or she can teach you how to make that pumpkin roll. But Grab that roll into fall bundle so you're ready to go. And I can guarantee all of us are going to be doing virtual pumpkin cl- pump roll classes as well. So grab it now, learn how to make it all season long. Okay, so then we've got handheld bites. This I love. Dana showed that really well with the pumpkin pie tartlets. There's so many great appetizers you can do with that as well. Great bundle for lots of things in the holidays. And then donuts, donuts for donuts. You guys saw me do this healthier pumpkin donuts tonight. We can also do some great um, bagels as well. Bagels are amazing when you want basically any recipe in this donut tray. But I did a different pumpkin donut recipe last week. It was a huge hit. Just have fun with it. Play with it. Uh, It is a go nuts for donuts. Then I got to tell you, I got to stop sharing this screen and flip over to another one because we got a flash sale that just was announced today. And I've got to pull that up. Sorry, it's hidden behind all my windows here. <laughs> but I'm going to, uh, we've got a flash sale on the triangle tray, you guys. So this is really exciting. Normally, uh, sorry, I've got too many screens here. Normally, you're going to see it. Just three, two, one. There you go. Okay. So here is our triangle tray. So give it a try. The triangle tray, $50, normally $66. Is this gorgeous? So these are some really fun. Uh, rice crispy treats made into candy corns and Christmas trees. And then these are some lemon lavender uh, cakes that we made in triangle tray just a couple of years ago, maybe three years ago or something beautiful. So consider getting that right now. $50 is a great deal. You guys there's a lot of great things you can make in the holidays um, with that tray. Scones are amazing. That's true. I've also seen people make little pizza bites. Like I did the pizza in the round tray. You can also do it in this triangle tray. I've done the pumpkin pie. Oh, the pumpkin pie, a piece of pumpkin pie. How fun is that? I love that. Okay. So then, as I said with the business kit, drum roll, please, if you join in the first 10 days of October, you decide to jump on our team, you can get $25 off your business kit. You guys, that's just an amazing deal. So reach out to your consultant if you have more questions about that, you're interested in joining our team, whether you want to do part-time, full-time, fun-time, or seasonal seller time, we've got your back. So definitely reach out. We'll give you more information on that. But you guys have been so great staying on here with us. And we've got some raffle prizes to give away. Uh, Julia, there are a couple of people that came on okay. after. Do you have Cheryl? Oh, no, sorry. I read Cheryl. It's Carl. C-A-R-Y-L. Castro. Yeah. Mine. And Tabitha Bork. Um, we need to add those two people. So, well, Julia, Julia, you can come over here and see the spelling on these names and um, get this right. And then I'm going to have Dana and Tina talk about the raffle prizes. And so Dana and Tina, we need to decide if we're doing three raffle prizes or two raffle prizes, because we can bundle up Tina? the board and the jam as a bundle, or we can do it separately. And we're also going to do a fluted pie. Fluted pie, yeah. So yeah, three. three, we're Let's going to do three. three raffle prizes. And so you have to be on. And so pay attention, ladies, because um, we're going to, Julia's going to spin. She's been helping us out with this. She's getting the last few people in here. And then we're going to spin. I know we got the sun coming in. And so you guys are going to go ahead. And the first person that wins, we're going to let you pick. You got to pick fast. Imagine there's a pie. I'm going to get you one right now. I'm going to grab out of my magic drawer here. Don't worry, you're going to get a new one. (laughs) But this is a little final. So we're going to pie season, right? Oh, it's all pretty bad. I have you all on the spinner. The other is a, our mandarin. I have it in a. 
little bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Awesome. Anyway, our mandarin spice jam, which is to die so for, and a little set of our awesome little jar spoons, which are the perfect size for our pinch bowls and everything. And then the other one is our bamboo serving tray that you love saw it. us using tonight, which we use all the time. We put our cakes out on it. We love it. So and then the those, fluted pie. Right, those yeah, three. Three for Shakuri yes. too. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. perfect. All right, here we go. Here we go. Spin the world, drum roll please. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> There's like Lucian my... Fisher. Lucian Fisher. Which, you, would you like? which would you like? Would you like the pie mold, the board, or the jam and jar spoons? You pick. So I'm waiting for her to say. While we're waiting, um, we have a question of how many slices are in the triangle tray? Is it 12? I know. I think or it's nine, 12. Because uh, I think it's three, three, and four. I will look it up. Yeah. Okay, Lucianne would like the mold. So the okay, pie mold is yours, Lucianne. Okay, okay. Next. perfect. Next up, next winner is, drum roll please. I love the sunshine coming in my kitchen, but at the same time, it's so bright. It's coming. Rainy Kirkpatrick. Rainy Kirkpatrick. Awesome, Rainy, do you want the jam and jar spoons or would you like the bamboo board? And then while we're doing that, and we've got this awesome team behind the scenes here, you guys aren't even seeing, but uh, Rini would like the jam and jar spins. You got it. So then uh, last winner is gonna get the bamboo board. And we confirmed in the triangle tray is 12, For 12. triangles. So thank you, Anne. 12 wells. 12 wells, perfect. Okay, and the last winner is? Margaret Williamson. Yay, Margaret! Margaret, I'll bring that to you. I've got, I've got two gifts for Margaret now that I'm gonna take. So that's perfect. So awesome, awesome, awesome. We'll all come over here behind so you all my friends you guys can So thank you everybody for joining us. We're yeah. so excited um, that we can all be together and we're saying you can join us virtually. And we hope to be in all of your kitchens um, very soon doing cooking classes. So thanks for watching thanks and for we'll us. see you next time. Bye everyone. <laughs> I don't do a little dance. Thank you. Awesome. That was awesome. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Bye.